Hey, what's up? It's Roy here. So today I have another Pataka case here for my iPhone 14 Pro. Now don't worry if you don't have a 14 Pro and you have a 14, 14 Plus or 14 Pro Max, then you are able to still buy this case because they make a case for those phones as well. And I will link all of them down in the description. Now, as far as looking at the actual packaging here, it's this new biodegradable box that they have been sending cases out with lately. Um, but same Pataka branding. Now this is their fusion weaving case. So this is the overture pattern here, as you can see, but it still is a mag easy case three. Uh, so just something to point out uh, the PETA flow there, which is their ecosystem. And then 600 D, which is the pattern, which is the little bit thinner lines there instead of the thicker lines like the 1500. Now the back, it does kind of just break down a little bit more about the phone case, which I won't really bore you with, but PETA care there. So it's just letting you know that they care about their planet because the package is made of 100% biodegradable materials. So let's get this bad boy out. So you just slide this and boom, it reveals this here, which says PETA care. We care for your planet, which I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it since it's like white and I have a white table here. And there is the case. Uh, there is a thank you card in here, which just basically shows you some of their other stuff, like in an accordion style. Now there is removal instructions as well here, which I will actually show you in this video how to do it. Now I forgot to do it in my last video, so forgive me. Um, but here is the case. So super, super thin, is about as thin as a credit card. It is very, very thin. It is aramid fiber, so it does have a little bit of flex, but not much. It's very strong material though. As you can see in the interior, uh, not much going on. You do have the aramid fiber um, you know, pattern there, but as you can see, the Pataka uh, MagSafe magnets there that are built in, so you are able to use this with MagSafe accessories and whatnot, uh, but just an overall really thin case. So let's grab the Space Black 14 Pro. Now the way to install it is to Start with the uh, volume up and down side, in my opinion. So when you do that, you can see that there, and then you just push it in, and that's it. Literally, that's all she wrote, and there is the case installed. Extremely thin, as you can see here. Now, with this uh, fusion weaving pattern, you can fill the ridge here where the separation between this and this color kind of meets, so not a huge just lump or bump or anything like that but you can definitely feel it you got very simplistic pataka logo branding there but that's just kind of a look of it guys so just kind of getting a real good close look of it the actual camera bump protection as you can see it is protecting the lenses because they are recessed in there but it's just a little lip right nothing too crazy very simple nothing you know just extreme or anything like that because it's a slim case so they want it to be slim now looking at the sides here, you can see that fusion weaving color once again showing on this side, which is really cool. It is an opening here, so you have exposure to the real button. Looking at the bottom here, you can see once again the cutout for the uh, speakers and the lightning port to all be completely exposed. And you can kind of see that, you know, that fusion weaving pattern stops. And then obviously you got the rest of the just regular uh, black and gray aramid fiber color and on this side same thing you have a cutout here for your volume up and down and your alert slider and then a cutout for the top and that's kind of how it looks looking at it from the top now looking at the front you can see that there are going to be some lips that do cover the screen just a tad bit on the side so you're definitely going to get a little bit of screen protection it's nothing crazy because obviously if you got a case that's as thin as a credit card it's not going to be just some crazy rugged case. And then looking at it from the front, you can see how thin it is. So literally it's just a super, super thin case. And then that's kind of the look of uh, the top here, which obviously there is nothing covering the top. So your speaker up top is completely exposed, um, but very, very lightweight guys. I mean, obviously this thing is like feather light. Um, so now let's go ahead and do the quick wobble test here. So putting it, face down there is a little bit of a shake so a little bit of a shake going on not really sure why but there is uh, and then if we put it uh, back down 
There's definitely going to be a shake when you hit this corner because obviously there is a big giant camera bump on the back. Uh, so just something to keep in mind. Um, but now let's go ahead and really not really waste your time with a uh, button test because as you can see, we have easy access to the buttons. So I'm not really going to worry about how clicky my buttons are because they're already clicky. It's just the regular buttons, right? Um, and then last but not least, let's grab my MagSafe charger. So I'm going to put the phone down and go grab that real quick. All right, so I've got my MagSafe charger here. So let's slap it on. And as you can see, we have the MagSafe animation here. So we are getting a MagSafe charging um, sign there. The magnets are extremely strong. So I've always really been impressed with the magnets from Pataka's phone cases. I literally have never had an issue with them at all. Um, using them in my vehicle with car accessories. So the magnets are on point. Definitely two thumbs up with the magnet strength. So for this case, it's a very slim case. So you got to remember that, guys. If you're thinking about buying this case, it's very, very slim. So like I promised at the beginning, how to get this bad boy off? Because surprisingly, it's not the easiest case to get off. You would think with a slim case it would be but it is not. So the way to get this off is pretty simple. You just gotta do it the right way. You lift up the lip here and you almost push down on your camera lens. So as you're doing that, you're gonna push down on the lens. And once again, I'm trying to do this. Normally I would have this pushed up against my body, but I don't. Um, and then as you start to pull, you push against your phone and that's it. So you always, always, always want to push up against the lens, which it sounds silly, right? Like, oh my gosh, why am I pushing against my lens? But you have to do it to get this case off. Trust me, I've tried multiple ways of not doing it that way, and it was a pain in the butt, and it never happened until I did it that way. So just remember, it's a lot easier to do it when you're not trying to do it on video and trying not to wiggle the camera that's, you know, suspended on the table so when I hit it it shakes um, so all in all not hard you just need to make sure you know how to do it so if you're interested in maybe checking out another uh, review video you can follow this card and check out the other Pataka case review that I did um, and then obviously it would be awesome if you subscribed and kept on coming back to my channel and ring that notification bell when I do uh, post new content so be safe God bless we'll see you on the next one